For this exercise, let's get a little cardio going with a squat jump to side shuffle. So you will need a space about the length of a mat. You can use a mat as well for reference. We'll start on one side. Depending on how you prefer to do your squat jump, you can have your hands on your waist. You can have them forward of you. My personal favorite is here when I squat and then as I jump up, I'll extend my arms straight and kind of back behind me. You could also take an extra challenge and have them up overhead throughout the squat and the jump up. You pick what works for you. So we'll start with a squat jump. First, hips go back, bend your knees, keep your chest up tall. And now from here, we're gonna powerfully press through our heels, bend to the ball of our foot to jump up. And now from here, before we go anywhere, real quick, make sure that your heels have made contact with the floor. So when we land, we go from the front of the foot, to the back of the foot, we're not gonna have any heels lifted off the floor for this as we start shuffling, right? So get into that squat position. You've done your squat. Now we're gonna press off of this outside leg to power us into the shuffle. Other side, let's do it again. Down, up, press off of this leg, shuffle across. If you would like to get rid of the impact of the squat jump, just squat. And no matter what you do, we want to keep light feet. So we don't want to disturb downstairs neighbors. We want to really control this if it's the squat jump or the side shuffle with control, not pounding into the floor, okay? So with just the squat, it would be this. Down, press off of this leg, shuffle, quiet feet. Down, press off of that foot, shuffle, quiet feet. Same goes with squat jump quiet feet the entire time. Make sure that you're breathing, pick up the pace to a rhythm that works for you to challenge your heart and have fun with it.